Hey, what's up everybody? This is Cowboy Mike, and today we're going to do a little follow-up video on this Expert Grill wireless digital thermometer based off of a couple comments from my last video. So let's jump right into it. So on my last video, we talked about this thermometer and I gave you seven reasons why I think you should buy this thermometer and I will put a link to that video in the description. Today I want to address two of the comments that I received based on that video. The first one has to do with a design flaw and the second one is really more of a question of how do I use this particular thermometer. So what we're going to do is talk about how to use it first and then we will get to that one comment about the design flaw that I really think you should know before you go ahead and purchase this thermometer from Walmart. So let's first talk about function. Now if you own this thermometer, you just bought it and are unpackaging it, what you're going to want to do is get the batteries into both the transmitter and the receiver. Both of the compartments are here on the back and to access the compartments you just open it up like so. You place two AAA batteries inside and to turn on the transmitter you have the, the on off switch right here on the back. Slide that to the on position and you'll know that it's on because you're going to be able to see this blue LED blink periodically. So keep an eye on that and we'll talk about this. So there you saw it blinked. Now the receiver unit battery compartment is also on the back. So all you'll need to do is remove this little cover, place your two AAA batteries inside, replace the cover and turn it on using the power switch or the power button right up top. Okay, so now to talk about how to use these buttons and we'll talk a little bit about the display. First thing you gotta know is the basic layout. You have your current temperature and that's from the probe right here your set temperature and we'll talk about uh, how to set the temperature using this control panel over here you have the countdown timer on this side you have the meat selection here you can see beef veal lamb turkey fish pork burger and chicken you can select which protein that you're working with and then uh, over here you have what's known as taste and, and that refers to uh, something being well done, medium well, medium rare, uh, rare, etc. Uh, let's, there's two sides to this thermometer. There's a, a temperature controlled side and a timer controlled side. Uh, let's talk about the my watch went off hmm. let's just cancel that okay so um where was i so we're gonna there's a temperature side and a timer side and you'll know which side it's on based off of this little indicator right here this little triangle now to switch between the two sides, you have this mode button. And as, as you see, when I hit the mode button, this indicator switches from timer and now back to temp and back to timer. Let's first talk about the temperature side of this. So hit the button so it points to the temp side and on this side, first let's show how you can select the, the protein. Um, and, and 
An important thing to note is are these two buttons here are multi-function, so they do different things based off of which side you're working on. So when you're on the temp side, this selects the protein. So the meat uh, indicates this section right here. When you press it, you can see that it cycles through the different types of proteins that you can use. And the taste button indicates this item right here, and this button will affect both the taste and the set temp. So you can see medium, it says medium for the taste, the, the set temp changes, and it'll cycle through just like that. And when you switch through the different proteins, so some of them only have a a well setting like chicken only has a well uh, you should have seen um, turkey and fish also only have a well so if you have it on turkey or fish it's, it's not going to cycle only the proteins that have uh, an option for different doneness levels will you see this cycle through and you set the temp, and when you're using the probe, when this probe temperature reaches this set temperature, this unit will alert you that, hey, you've reached your set temp, so you gotta go, you know, gotta go check, check the pit or check the grill. Now on this timer side, so let's move this over, you can also use like a countdown timer and this is your start stop button on the timer side and this is your button to toggle between what you're setting up so um, H and M indicates the hours and the minutes so we'll just kind of do a demonstration um, See it's on minutes now we switch it to hours the, the plus and minus you can see that'd be a four hour smoke to demonstrate I want to just set this to one minute so we will switch that over to the minute side set that to one minute and then hit the start button and so you see that's counting down while we're waiting for that to count down, I did also want to note that notice how it is set to Fahrenheit for the temperature readout. You can also switch that to Celsius and that is done on the back. You see that there's this switch, uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius. When you slide that over, notice that the readout changes to Celsius. So what will happen when this reaches zero is this display will flash blue and you will have an audible tone coming out of the back here. And that's really handy because if you have this with you and you have it set off to the side or a little bit farther away, you can see the, the blue flash or the, the audible alert if it's within range. So that is, that's really handy. Um, you can go work on other things. So that's what the alert sounds like. On the timer side, when it hits zero, it alerts you like that. And on the temperature side, when these two temperatures, well, well this when this reaches that temperature, when the current temp reaches the set temp, it will continue to alert you just like um, it did on the timer side. And I can, I guess I can show that to you really quick. So let's set this set temperature down to 72. And it'll give us that same sort of alert. There you go. So 72, 72, 
giving off that alert. So that is what it looks like and sounds like when uh, you're you're at either the time time to zero or the temperature that you need to be. Now that's that's a basic function. That's pretty easy. The the more important thing now is the design flaw and this comes into play on the temperature side of the house and here is the thing that you need to know before you buy this unit from Walmart so indicator says we're on the temperature side we're going to select beef as the protein now this is set to well done and it has a set temp of 170. For those of you that know, well done is not 170 degrees. That's, that's, you know, that's off. If you don't have to take my word for it, you can Google it and you'll see that 170 is not the temp you want it. And as you cycle through, the temps you notice that they are off as well now if you have a quick reference guide or you look it up on your smartphone uh, while you're getting ready to throw something on the grill or throw something in the smoker the reason why I don't think that this design flaw is a showstopper is because you can manually set this set temp using this plus and minus button okay so you can set it higher lower whatever you need to and so when the probe the the current temp hits the temp that you set it'll alert you like normal and the reason why I didn't bring it up on the initial video was I almost never use this preset and there's there's another thing as well so more recently they changed the regulation on the the doneness of various types of protein and I'll actually talk about that in an upcoming video so for those of us that have purchased thermometers throughout the years and they come with presets some of these presets are a little bit off based on on the modern guidelines so you know a lot of this stuff is off anyway and uh, you know that's a topic for another time that's why I don't think it should be a showstopper because all of that all of that data you can look up and you can adjust your set temp accordingly. In fact, I uh, back to this unit specifically, I know that it's a, d a design flaw because I have three of these uh, thermometers here with me and all of them have the same readout. Now, is it possible that they could have corrected this on newer units? It, it's possible. In fact, um, I'll probably go pick one up and do an unboxing video and then we'll check it right out of the box to see if it still has that that flaw um, maybe it does maybe it doesn't we don't know yet we'll have to test that out long story short though I don't think you should um, discount this uh, thermometer or cross it off your list as an option simply because those presets are wrong if it's a showstopper for you because you're just getting to the hobby and you really want those to be truly accurate I can come up with some different recommendations on different thermometers um, you know one of my favorites is this one this is actually a lot older than than this one and it is still one of my favorites do a review on this one later it has certain features that this one doesn't have um, you know maybe maybe I'll kind of do a showdown between the two we'll see so you know that's the really 
that's really the one thing I think you should be fully aware of before deciding on this definitively is that the set temps um, are not necessarily where they need to be and because you have the ability to manually set it I still think it's a very good tool I mean I do have I do have three of them and I you know a couple of friends asked me what they should get and I said well you know do you need it now and I would recommend go to Walmart grab this it's uh, with tax it's 20 and change I was just there the other day and it's like 1999 don't quote me on that price but it's just under $20 when you add in the tax here in Pennsylvania that takes it to just over $20 it's a good unit uh, some of these things I've had them for a little bit and I, I even still have the original batteries in so that's that's pretty good too and with that said um, if I could ask you for a small favor to help me promote the channel is if you found a little bit of value out of this video go ahead and hit that like button and share this video with anyone that you think would find it useful and lastly you know if you're into barbecue go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell that way you'll be one of the first people to know whenever I release new videos related to recipes, techniques, or product reviews. With that said, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Cowboy Mike. I'll catch you later. Bye now.